So this video is just showing you what's inside my standard Swinton repeater controller. I just use a 1RU case from JCAR. Just got it sitting on my lap here. Um, this little CPU board here is the Odroid. And it's quite a powerful little single board computer. So that is basically the, the heart of the system here. Uh, this is our multi-mode modem that allows us to do our P25, DMR, D-Star, Yaesu, C4FM, and, uh, and now NXDN. And um, it's just a little S STM32 uh, DSP board. And then we've also got here a DVR PTR modem. And you can see the blue USB lead is also plugged into the Oddroid. So in this one case, we do both our 2 meter VHF repeater, our multi-mode repeater, and then the DVR PTR modem is connected to a 70 centimeter repeater. So we have standalone D-Star using this DVR PTR one modem, and we have our multi-mode modem. And this over here is just a 12 volt to 5 volt DC to DC converter to give our Oddroid some nice clean 12 volts. And I've got a couple of little leads to the front. I've only just fitted this, um, what we call the Ferrari board, to this one. So I'm just going to put on my transmit and receive indicator LEDs I've got on the front panel. Uh, quite handy because it's all tucked away inside this box. You need to be able to see if it's on or if it's transmitting or receiving. Sort of, you, so you can see what the multi-mode modem's up to when you're standing in, in, just in front of the rack. And on the other side, that's just a power LED, just a single indicator LED just so we know we've got power to the, the 1RU repeater controller. So anyway, that's what makes up my setup here. This is at, at Black Mountain, VK4RBY, a local repeater here in Mackay. So I'm going to put the finishing touches to this now and put the whole system back into service.